someone said that I don't seem happy to be back and uh, they asked if everything is okay between me and my wife how much money do you make on YouTube we had this fight because yes yes would you ever be the older woman in a relationship ah <laughs> Hi sweeties, welcome back to the channel I feel like I'm a famous singer in LA because I'm holding a chihuahua and a frappuccino Did you know you were a chihuahua? Did you know? This is vegan by the way, it's lovely Anyway, as I was saying, today I'm gonna be doing my makeup and answering some of your burning questions you've sent me on Instagram <laughs> Someone was telling me off the other day in the comments for doing too many Q&A's and uh, I know, I know, I'm aware, I'm sorry But when I started my YouTube channel forever ago I used to dream of the day when people would actually send me questions so I could actually do a Q&A <laughs> And uh, that day has come and now I get questions to do Q&A's and that, uh, that makes me really happy <laughs> So I, I am... Uh, I'm gonna carry on doing Q&A's, I'm sorry But I try to spice it up with a few other things that might make it more interesting for those of you who are not as into Q&A's as me <laughs> Sorry So I am gonna be doing a rainbow eyeliner I've attempted this makeup look in last week's video when I did my hair rainbow But it was a little bit messy and I am gonna do it a little bit differently now So this is me doing that makeup look but a little bit different and attempt number two hopefully looking better while answering your questions <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a very long intro. Wasn't it, Beverly? I love you. I love you. Mommy loves you. Okay, so before we start, please subscribe and activate the notifications so you know whenever I post a new video. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this here on YouTube before, but I have new merch out. It's my new album's merch, so there are a few t-shirts and mugs and stuff like that on my little merch store and you can check that out. The link is in the video description. Well, Beverly, uh, I think Beverly wants to get down. Say bye. Bye bye. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for amazing photos. They're totally gonna change your life. And give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Okay. Okay. I can do it. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I am not ready. I need some more coffee. I actually hate coffee, but I've been trying to make myself like coffee because sometimes I just feel like I need that, that little extra boost of energy. Okay, so I am gonna start applying some primer just with my fingers like this. All right, let me read the first question before I get started on the foundation. Oh my God, oh my God, okay, okay. You're going there already. <laughs> We're starting with a dramatic question. How much money do you make on YouTube? Oh my God, you guys are not very discreet. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's okay, you can ask. Ask away, it's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, so you know how every time YouTubers get answered this question, they answer something like, oh, it changes every month. It's so hard to, to know exactly how much you're gonna make because it's literally a completely different number each month. So <laughs> that's true, <laughs> it varies a lot. Basically, it depends on how many views you get but it doesn't just depend on that, like it depends where your followers are, what type of ads they're getting, if they're watching their ads or if they're skipping them, so please watch your ads. <laughs> and then on top of that, it depends if you're doing sponsored content or if you aren't, and that is like the thing that varies the most because usually people make more money with sponsored stuff so like if I were wearing a t-shirt from a brand right now I would be making a lot more money with that than with the ads that appear in front of the videos so there could be a month when a YouTuber does a bunch of sponsored things and then that's like a really good month and then the next month maybe they won't do any and then it's a, a bad month it really like varies it's hard to like answer that when people ask even my friends you know when they ask me how much I make and stuff 
I never know how to answer it because it really depends and that's a bit scary because you, you know you just you just never know you need to be always like saving because you don't know what next month is going to be like okay i'm putting on a little bit of concealer now and by a little bit i mean the whole bottle <laughs> and uh, like i also think it's a little bit dangerous to talk about money on social media you know not just for me but for for anyone because you never know who's you know who's watching and stuff scary and uh, oh my god <laughs> like a year and a half ago i kind of spoke about money a little bit and i opened up about having a few like money problems at the time just because i overshare <laughs> especially on youtube i just overshare and i you know opened up about that but it was uh, yeah it, it was a mistake because <laughs> after that i know it's a small percentage of people but after that even after you know i wasn't having money problems anymore and i paid off my debt and all that i would go out for dinner or something like that and i would have people commenting you're going out for dinner i thought you were broke or i would i don't know i would get a coffee and people would be like i thought you were broke <laughs> and i was like can i mismanage my own money in peace please <laughs> so it's it, it's dangerous talking about money online <laughs> okay next question is how is your mental health <laughs> so i'm just gonna contour my cheekbones and uh, forehead a little bit so my mental health is doing a lot better like a lot better than it was doing a few months ago and uh, it was definitely definitely a good idea to spend some time with my family hold on i'm blending <laughs> But I, I feel like I'm not 100% there yet. And, you know, it's a process. It takes time. It takes a lot of work. And um, I don't know if I'll ever be 100% there. I hope so. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if anyone is ever, like, 100% okay <laughs> with their mental health. But, you know, I am very happy to be... I was talking about this the other day, but I don't remember if I was saying it here on Patreon. I think it was on Patreon. It's difficult being an immigrant because it doesn't matter where you are, you're always missing someone. And I know not everybody can relate to that, but when I'm here, I miss my family in Brazil. And when I'm there, I miss my family here, you know, which is my wife <laughs> and my very close friends that I have here too. And I feel like it doesn't matter where I am, I always feel foreign because obviously I'm foreign here, <laughs> here in the UK because, you know, I have an accent, I wasn't born here and everything. But at the same time, I also feel a little bit like a foreigner in my own country as well because I've been here since I was 18 so I've never been an adult in Brazil so there are a bunch of things that I wouldn't know how to do there like pay bills and stuff like that because I was a kid when I lived there so it's strange you know <laughs> but I am very happy to be back here in the UK very happy to be with my wife but I'm just trying to explain you know it is bittersweet because I do miss my family over in Brazil and I miss the weather <laughs> you know the weather affects my mood a lot I think especially because I grew up in a tropical country so when I'm here and it's cloudy all the time and cold and, and it gets dark early it, you know it makes me not feel as great <laughs> so all that to say that my mental health is okay it's good much better than it was last year but it could be better <laughs> and I'm working on it Okay, so now I'm just applying some setting powder. Now I got a darker setting powder just to set the contour. I'm gonna blend that, don't worry. Okay, while I do my eyebrows, <laughs> I'm just using eyeshadow and an angled brush like this. Someone said that I don't seem happy to be back in the UK and uh, they asked if everything is okay between me and my wife. And uh, I think it does seem like I'm happy to be back. I think, you know, in the video I posted of me arriving back, I think I seem very excited to be back. But maybe whatever you noticed could be what I was talking about, you know. Like, I am very, very happy to be back with my wife. But it is bittersweet being away from my family and stuff. If I could... I would just have like everybody together in the same country. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be the same city, but like in the same country. It would be so lovely. And her family as well, you know. Maybe when this pandemic is over, we'll all like pack up our bags and 
go to Brazil and stay there for like six months. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so cool. I would love that. How many tattoos do you have? How many tattoos do you have? Before I answer that, I am just gonna get a little bit of light brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna apply it to the crease of my eye like this. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend that in. So, oh, I have so many hidden tattoos that you don't know about. <laughs> no, I don't. I wish I did. I only have one tattoo. And uh, if you've been following me here on the channel for a while, you know the story behind this tattoo. It's, you know, a little basic bitch heart tattoo. <laughs> but the meaning behind it is lovely because I got this tattoo with my wife. You know, we have matching ones. And uh, we got it when we were engaged. It represents our love. And it was such a beautiful, beautiful time in our lives. So whenever I look at this tattoo, it makes me smile and it makes me so happy. And also I wanted to get like something small because <laughs> I didn't know how painful it was gonna be. And uh, I didn't find it painful at all. It was okay. So I am definitely gonna get like a lot more tattoos once I can. And once I think of what I want, because I don't know. But I would love to get something like to do with YouTube and my lovely sweeties my subscribers and i would love to get music stuff for sure definitely a lot of music stuff so i i am gonna think about it if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments because i definitely want to get more tattoos i love tattoos i think they're super cool piercings however i am never gonna get a piercing again because that was so painful i'm also gonna put some of that same color under my eyes not all over just in the outer corner like this and then in the inner corner, I am gonna apply some white eyeshadow. Oh, I'm also gonna get some of that white eyeshadow under my eyebrows like this. Okay, let me answer another question while I blend. <laughs> Do you usually prefer plus size women or any kind of woman? <laughs> I never really gave that too much thought. You know, my wife is a beautiful plus size woman and I think she's beautiful and sexy and gorgeous the way she is. But I've also been with women who are not plus size and I've also been with women who are like very, very skinny. And um, I think that means I just like any kind, of <laughs> any kind of woman. I think honestly, women are beautiful and all sizes and shapes are stunning. And for me, it's more about the personality anyway. Yeah, I don't think size is something I care about or think about at all. Okay, we've arrived at the fun part of the video. And that means I am gonna do the rainbow eyeliner right now. Yay! <laughs> I want it to be like a very big and bold eyeliner so you can see it even when I put my fake eyelashes on. So I am gonna need a little help so it looks nice because my hands aren't that firm. <laughs> so I am gonna do a little trick that I've been doing for a while. Sometimes I do it with eyeshadow, sometimes I do it with eyeliner. You know, whenever I want like a very straight line over here so basically you get a little bit of sticky tape and you're gonna angle it from the outer corner of your eye to the end of your eyebrow like this so when you put on your eyeliner even if you mess it up right here you're gonna take this off after and uh, it's gonna look snatched <laughs> So I don't have every single color of uh, eyeliner out there, so I am gonna use a white liquid eyeliner and then I'm gonna go over it with different shades of eyeshadow to create a rainbow. So right now, <laughs> sorry, I am gonna do just the white eyeliner. Cross your fingers, wish me luck. Okay, I kind of love <laughs> the eyeliner just white like this. Oh my god, it's so cool. Obviously, I still have the sticky tape on, but it's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm gonna do that one day. It's very brain on me, Lady Gaga. Love it. <laughs> okay, so let's grab some colors before I take out the tape. And uh, while I do that, let me get another question. Why do you dye your hair so much? Ooh. <laughs> okay, before I answer, I am gonna get some pink. 
You all know that my rainbows never have the color red. I always use pink instead. <laughs> so th this one is no different. So I'm gonna start with pink right here. Ooh, so pretty. So I I'm not sure why I dye my hair so much. I just think it's fun and um, it's a way of me expressing myself and being different, you know? I, I always loved pink hair and I always loved... Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> I always loved experimenting with fashion and my looks and all that stuff. Yeah, it's just something fun for me to do and I think it's extra fun because I do social media so I can do like different looks with different hair colors and do hair videos and uh, I, yeah, I just enjoy it. It's, it's just fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some orange and uh, apply it next to the pink and blend them together like this. Ooh, this is gonna look so cute. I'm so excited. You know what? Maybe I will have a little bit of red in this rainbow. Maybe just at the very end like this, just to complement the pink a little bit. So you kind of like can see a little bit more because that's a very light pink. Okay, the next question is, has any of your friends or family gotten COVID? Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, yes. Well, thankfully, nobody in my family got it, but I have a few friends who got it, actually. I haven't been in contact with any of them, by the way, in case you were wondering. But I have one, two, three... Yeah, four friends who got COVID, which is so scary, really you know, it really puts it into perspective, you know, really makes you realize that anyone can catch it. And uh, back in Brazil, I have a neighbor who, you know, I didn't like know this person that well, but this neighbor actually died of COVID and it's, you know, it was an elderly person and it's just so sad. And that's why you always have to be very careful, you know, with with these things because you might be someone who is young and healthy and maybe won't die from it but you can pass it to someone else who's older or who has an, another underlying condition and this person might you know actually die because of it and even people who are young and healthy are dying as well so please you guys be careful anyway let's move on to some green <laughs> to cheer us up. Some nice lovely green eyeshadow. Oh my god, I'm very happy with this. I might just at the end get a brighter pink actually because I didn't like the thing I did with the red and the pink. I might just get a neon pink and go over that. Oh, I love green. Green is my second favorite color. So pretty. And the next question is, have you and your wife gotten into a bad fight since your marriage? And uh, the answer is yes. And I'm gonna tell you about it while I do the blue eyeshadow. <laughs> So basically, I can only remember us having one like serious fight in which we were like screaming and stuff. <laughs> because usually, you know, we have disagreements, obviously, every couple has disagreements, but we are usually like pretty civilized and we talk about it. But I remember this one time, I think it was like almost a year ago, <laughs> and it was the stupidest thing. We had this fight because we had just gotten Beverly, our little dog, and I wanted to glue all her training pads together to make one big training pad because I thought she needed more space and Eileen didn't agree with that. It was something like that, but we ended up like having a big fight because of the puppy pads. <laughs> and that was the only time I ever remember us actually like being loud, you know, like that, like fighting, fighting, because usually we are pretty chill. Yeah, we don't usually like scream at each other or anything like that. I just remember this once. What? In the last five minutes, that's how long we usually get. <laughs> yeah, Eileen, I don't know if you heard her, but she's in the bedroom and uh, she was saying it usually lasts five minutes <laughs> when we have disagreements. It's true. And now we need some purple eyeshadow. I don't know why I'm singing. I think it's because I'm happy because rainbows. Oh yes. Oh yes, that's a nice lilac. Oh my god, I'm loving this. I am so proud. Okay, you're ready to take out the tape to see what it looks like. Are you ready? Oh my god, it actually worked! Ah! Oh my god, it's so cute. I need to touch up this little corner right here. But it's so cute. Let's see this side. Oh, it's adorable! Oh 
my god, it's so cute. I love it. I just need to touch it up a little bit, but it's really cute. Oh my god, I am so proud. <laughs> my faith in humanity has been restored, or at least my faith in my rainbow makeup skills has been restored. <laughs> okay, let me just touch it up and I'll be back. Yay! I'm so happy with it! What do you think? What do you think? So now I am gonna answer another question and do the mascara and the, the fake eyelashes and the lipstick and the highlighter. Oh my god, there's still lots to do. <laughs> but we have rainbow eyelids and that makes me so happy. <laughs> I think I'm always gonna do my eyeliner like this now. I'm never gonna go back to just regular eyeliner. Except I will, because this takes two hours. <laughs> the next question is, one color you wouldn't dye your hair? Oh my god, I don't know if there is a color I would never dye my hair, because I, you know, I like changing my hair a lot, as you know. <laughs> and every time I think, oh, I wouldn't do that to my hair, then I start, like, thinking about it and imagining me with that hair color and all the outfits I would wear that would look cute with the hair color. <laughs> and then I changed my mind. So, you know, never say never, especially when it comes to me dyeing my hair. <laughs> but right now, I think probably I wouldn't dye my hair brown, which is my natural color. Just because I, you know, I really enjoy having colorful hair and it's very hard to lighten dark hair. I know because my natural hair is brown and I've dyed my hair black and brown and stuff before and it was just so difficult and I had to bleach it so many times and it really like ruined my hair. So I probably wouldn't do it anymore because I know I would want to go back to bright colors. But apart from that, I think I would do anything. <laughs> okay, are you ready for it? <laughs> are you ready for it? Da -da -da -da! Wow! Wow! Amazing! Hee! I'm actually really happy with it. Let me zoom in so you can actually see better. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I am very happy with it. I think it looks way better than last time. <laughs> it's still kind of subtle. I think, you know, next time I do it, I am gonna make it even thicker so you can see it from a distance. Because I don't know if you can see it like this. I mean, when I come close to the camera, you can definitely see it's rainbow. But especially with the eyelashes, I think it's still kind of subtle. Like, if you're going somewhere and you want people to know you're gay, but you don't want to be, like, too over the top, you can just do, like, a little rainbow eyeliner like this. <laughs> and maybe, maybe uh, rainbow hair like this. <laughs> then they'll definitely know. <laughs> so, before I go, I'm gonna answer another question. Like this, looking good, looking glamorous with my makeup done. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm checking my makeup. Would you ever be the older woman in a relationship? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, so I've dated people my age before or like a year older, you know, one or two years older and I've dated obviously people a lot older than me, like my wife, she's like a lot older than me but I've never dated anyone younger than me in, in another like dimension <laughs> <laughs> Not like in an alternate reality if I weren't married. Yeah, I think I would probably Yeah, I would be open to dating someone younger than me as long as obviously that goes without saying they were over 18 However, I am more attracted to people who are mature But age doesn't necessarily mean someone is mature or immature You know if I weren't married and if I met someone younger than me who were like very mature for their age then yeah, sure. You know, I've always said that age is just a number as long as you are both consenting adults and um, I stand by it. So yeah, I would. It would be funny though, because I am used to being the younger one. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Have one more look at my beautiful rainbow eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a very, very lovely day. Go follow me on Instagram. Mwah! <laughs>